Thank you, Alex. And now I'd like to discuss how we would actually organize for our global business activities. First and foremost, we'll be employing the localization strategy in terms of linguistics. We'll be actually switching all the exterior packaging to Arabic, since actually 98% of the population speak Moroccan Arabic here in Morocco. Thus, by switching the language, we could be attracting the local Moroccans and also the Arab-speaking region's populations as well. And moreover, we'll be inviting the local Moroccans and local key opinion influencers to write product reviews in Arabic and or English on our socials, such as Instagram and Meta. Our second localization strategy will be making all our tea halal certified. Since actually currently 99% of our population are Sunni Muslims, thus making it halal certified ensures our quality of our products. Moreover, you may take a quick look at our Hofstede's cultural model at the individualism index, actually when comparing from Morocco to China, China has a much higher individualism index. It's quite the double of Morocco of 43 when compared to Morocco as of 24. This means that actually Moroccans are, an, are a nation that prefer the collectivist lifestyle, basically um, like to be in groups, in families, in friendships, groups, and more. That's why by making our tea products halal certified, we'll be actually assuring the quality and ensuring that they could actually buy our tea in bundles and they could drink also in gatherings and together without being any um, lacking confidence in our quality of our tea. So I would like to give a brief outlook of our global management information system. So a bit about our data ethics. Here are some of our guidelines. Our principle is to address the privacy and the moral data handling. And um, one of our guidelines include such as social and environmental well-being. We believe that um, basically every human has their own rights over the data. Thus, we would always try to minimize the negative impacts of people and society by which are affected by the data. We would like to minimize the negative effects of data on people and society. Moreover, we are completely transparent about how and why we use the data. And we are strongly involved in the privacy and security. Our practice in data, our, our data practices are purely ethical and responsible. And we basically only use our data to accelerate growth and enhance management of our firm. Thus, for example, we use the data to determine the consumer preferences and demographics and the behavior segmentation. Moreover, on our e-commerce website, Jumia would actually be accurately updating our stock information, such as hurry, three left, or no stock left to better inform our consumers. And now I would like to pass on to Haley for the human resources aspect. Thank 